Yeah, what was it? What's the, what's touch called from a, in a in the science world? Skin to skin. Skin to skin. Can you give me an overview of that study and what it showed for people that aren't aware of it? Well, they took these baby rhesus monkeys and they they let some be with the mothers and the mothers nurtured those babies and those babies became healthily attached and secure and those were the healthy, emotionally healthy babies. Then they gave um, another subset of monkeys um, a wire mother covered with a piece of cloth or fur or something. And those babies became very neurotic, but at least they were clinging. They became like the ambivalent attachment babies because there was no response from the mother, but at least they were holding on to this mother. And then they gave, and these babies became very neurotic, and then they gave the subset of babies nothing. And those babies literally lost their minds. And um, I mean, there are other studies which are more recent than that. That's quite an old study. There, there is a researcher named Michael Meany. He did a study on licking and grooming, animals who lick and groom their young, meaning are nurturing skin to skin, lick and groom. Uh, in human terms, that would be holding, touching, loving, skin to skin. Those, uh, if, if a mother licked and groomed her young, that baby would become more resilient to stress in the future. The babies who were not licked and groomed by their mothers become, became less resilient to stress in the future. In addition, the babies who were more resilient to stress because their mothers had licked and groomed them passed down generationally the ability to lick and groom the next generation. What happened to the babies who weren't licked and groomed? Guess what happened? They didn't pass it down. Right. And that's what's happening to humans today. If we don't lick and groom our babies, I mean, you know, take it for whatever. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't lick and groom our babies, it, we don't pass on this resilience to stress and adversity, but we also don't pass on the desire to lick and groom, your, to have babies.